Have you ever felt misunderstood or misinterpreted during a conversation? It might be because of the way you communicate. Join us to explore the fascinating world of verbal and non-verbal communication and learn how to use it to your advantage in both personal and professional settings. Verbal and non-verbal communication are both important in rapo building. Verbal communication refers to the use of words and language, while nonverbal communication refers to body language, facial expressions, and tone of voice. Verbal communication is essential in rapo building, as it allows us to convey our thoughts, ideas, and feelings to others. When we communicate verbally, we use words to express ourselves, and we can use different techniques to build rapo. For example, we can use active listening skills to demonstrate that we are interested in what the other person is saying. We can also use open-ended questions to encourage the other person to share more about their thoughts and feelings. In addition, we can use positive language and tone of voice to create a friendly and welcoming atmosphere. Edward Sapper was an American anthropologist linguist who is widely considered to be one of the most important figures in the development of the discipline of linguistics in the United States. He has conveyed that nonverbal communication is an elaborate secret code that is written nowhere, known by none, and understood by all. It is difficult to make a complete list of nonverbal communication modes. Even silence, which has been described to be golden, is a nonverbal communication code. Nonverbal communication is equally important in rapo building, as it can convey our emotions, attitudes, and intentions. Nonverbal cues such as facial expressions, gestures, and posture can affect how others perceive us and how we perceive them. For example, a warm smile and eye contact can convey warmth and friendliness, while crossed arms and a frown can convey defensiveness or disinterest. In addition, mirroring the other person's nonverbal cues can help build rapo by creating a sense of similarity and connection. Both verbal and nonverbal communication are important in rapo building. Effective verbal communication can help us express ourselves clearly and build trust and understanding, while nonverbal communication can convey our emotions and attitudes and help us connect with others on a deeper level. By paying attention to both verbal and nonverbal cues, we can build stronger relationships and establish rapport more easily.